Hello everybody, my name's Alan, and you're watching Guns, Gear, and Outdoors Alaska. Today we're going to be testing the CCI 9mm shot shells, and we're going to be shooting them through my Walther PPQ M2. I'm going to admit my biases right away, I don't really have high hopes for the performance of these guys, but I'll uh, withhold my judgments till the end of the test. But before we start shooting, let me show you what these look like. So this ammunition comes in boxes of 10. You can see here we have an aluminum case and a blue plastic cone in place of the bullet that holds the shot. This is number 12 shot. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this stuff is really tiny. And there's only 53 grains of it. That's what it says on the box. So not much shot, it's pretty small. I'm guessing this is a pretty short range number and it does say on the box pest control that's what it says it's good for so we're gonna we're gonna see here all right so we got our patterning board we're gonna start at seven yards see how that goes i don't really know what to expect i never i never shot any of these cci shot shells not even the rimfire ones so this is this is a first for me. I just saw them in the store. Thought it'd be something interesting to try out. So seven yards. I got this one in here. I don't expect this to cycle the pistol. I just don't think they have the energy for that. So guessing it's not going to cycle it, but we'll see. And I drew a little picture of a rat on there since it's for pest control. We'll see how the pattern does with that. Here we go. Okay, so almost almost no recoil. It's it's really light, a lot less than regular nine millimeter. Didn't lock back. And yep. Didn't eject. That's what we expected. But let's go check out how it patterned. As you can see I my picture of the rat here, we only have what looks like one, two. Oh, that's really tiny. Three, four five of those little number 12 pellets in the rat and these two would be in his lung area but those those are so tiny i'd really want more pellets in the rat there to call it a reliable kill but i don't know if, how well this is coming through since this shot is so small i got you guys pretty close there's pretty good density of pellets all the way around the rat the reason that happens is when you shoot shot through a rifled barrel it spins it and spreads it out even more than through a smooth bore and you often get holes in the center of your pattern which is what you're seeing here we're not seeing the density of shot where we need it so i think even just seven yards is too far away i'm gonna mark where these pellet holes are in our rat and we'll move up to five yards and try that okay we've moved up to five yards Got another one ready to go. We had five holes in the rat before. I got them marked. Let's see if we can do better by moving up a little bit. Let's go check it out. All right, we can see here just moving up a couple yards really increased the density of our pattern around the rat. We got more than, than 10 hits right in, right in by his body. So I'd say that's, that's better. Moving up two yards really made a bit of difference, but five yards is, is pretty close. But just because we can hit him at that range doesn't necessarily mean we can kill him. Let's do something to test the power of these little pellets at this distance. So to test the penetration of these little guys, I'm going to shoot just one piece of this 5 8 inch spruce board. It's the same boards we used for the 22 mag versus 22 long rifle video. And I got a carbonated beverage and an aluminum can sitting behind it. Let's just see what it does in that. I'm not sure it's going to make it through one of these boards. If it does, I think it would have the, the penetration necessary to kill rat sized animals. So. I don't know what to expect. Let's step back to five yards and try it out. 
For something like this, I'd usually like to leave the camera down there by the target so you can see the impact, but I really don't trust how big and erratic these patterns are, so I'm gonna keep it back here by me where it's safe. All right, got another round. Knocked it over, let's go evaluate the damage. So our board got knocked over, but there's no penetration. Not a single pellet made it through the board, and our aluminum can is just fine. No damage. So I don't, I think on animals any larger than a rat, I'd say, say no deal, maybe even a big big rad is going to be able to take quite a few of those pellets and keep going. I don't know if it's got the penetration power to really reliably and ethically take them out. But uh, let's try another shot just at the can and see what that does. Okay, we're back at five yards. Got our bare soda can. Let's see if we can get through that. That penetrated the aluminum. Let's go check it out. Okay, here's our can. We actually got pretty good pattern coverage for that one. Looks like all the pellets made it through one half of the aluminum and they're all rattling around in the bottom of the can. So what does that translate to as far as penetration on an actual little animal? I, I don't know, I'm not sure, but they didn't bounce off the can, so that's that's a good thing. Let's take a step back and talk about these and maybe what they're good for, maybe they're not good for anything. So, our CCI, nine millimeter shot shells. I'm not very impressed with them. I really have a hard time trying to figure out what, what these would be good for. Maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe if you have rats in your barn and you want to shoot them inside your barn without messing up the metal, but we show they go through one layer of tin can, it probably wouldn't hurt a steel barn roof. If you maybe live in town and you have pests in your garden, could you potentially shoot them with these? But I think you'd be you'd be better off using a BB gun or anything really, because these are these were $21 for 10 rounds. That's more than $2 a round for this. I think you'd get a lot more mileage pest control wise with your $22 if you went out and bought a bunch of wooden rat traps. But maybe I'm missing the point what these are what these are good for because you have to get so close. The pattern's so erratic, there's big holes. I just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing what would make these worth, worth the money. But one thing that I don't know about is uh, snakes. Would these be good for dispatching venomous snakes? Maybe some of you guys who live where there are snakes could let me know that because here in Alaska we don't have any snakes and I really am yeah not sure what these would be useful for. The range is too short, the patterns are too wild, the penetration is is okay but not very good. Just 53 grains of little tiny number 12 shot for two dollars and twenty cents a round. I'm just not impressed with it. I'm not sure what it's good for, but yeah, if you think think I'm missing the point, let me know let me know in the comments if you've ever used these on an actual animal. I'd love to hear about it. Yeah, put that in the comments too. But thanks for watching. This was it was still fun to test out. But yeah, not overall not impressed with the CCI 9mm shot shell. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Got a couple of old bananas sitting in the snow. I'm gonna take them out with the CCI shot shells. All right, here we go. Works okay on old bananas. So, CCI 9mm shot shell. Oh, I just dumped them off.